morning, y'all. I'm about to eat some cereal bars. Well, a cereal bar, a neutral green bar. And then on top of that, I'm going to eat some noodles. Yes. Just got a taste for noodles this morning. Strange, I know. I think because I seen somebody do it the other day. I just want to know what it feels like to do it myself during the morning. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure if somebody was just purposely trying to hit me or they just didn't know how to read the room stuff or what, but right then they were coming through that curve and this thing splits off where you can come drive through this part and get dropped off or just park for a little bit until you do what you gotta do. And then on the other side is just the regular roadway to get to the one of the buildings out here on the stretch for the hospital and i'm like what are they doing they literally came up behind me real fast I, i'm glad i heard them because i got on out the way because you got to walk basically in the road to get on the sidewalk because there's no sidewalk so i'm like my god i look and this person instead of staying right in this lane that i'm walking beside they got in the far lane where you go to go in that area. And I'm like, what the heck? Let me beat this truck because he's flying. <laughs> I'm speed walking. Ooh. All right, y'all. I wish I would have caught it on video, but anyway, I'm almost there. <laughs> I see you looking over here at the corner of your eye. Yeah. So, <laughs> I forgot to take my medicine. But it's okay, because I'm walking back to take it. Hopefully it's not raining, because it, it is supposed to rain today. But it's like... It's decent out here. I mean, it's cloudy. You can tell it's supposed to rain. Just a little scary. A little iffy. Like... The weather out is supposed to rain at a certain time, but you look at the sky, it's like, oh, I don't trust you right now type thing. It's not too bad, though. Bruh, I legit <laughs> just had a random thought. I was thinking about that time my mom came and um, we got out of the car. As soon as we got out, it was like our skin dried up to the point it couldn't even sweat. My God. Now I'm out here sweating. I'm like, ooh. I'd rather not sweat, but then again, I'd rather sweat because my skin was burning that day. <laughs> yes, random conversation. Leave me alone. My new flanges came in the mail today, so I'm going to try them out. If they don't fit as good as they should, I will order this next size. Keep doing it that way because I'm not sure. It's, I don't mind spending money on this for my baby. I really don't. But, um, yeah. These are size 19. 17 is next if I'm thinking right. 17 or 16, I can't remember, but, yeah. Let's see. Before I even start pumping, I just got to tell her to get this off my chest. Really miss my baby. I really miss my baby. Bro, I really miss my baby. <sighs> um, anyway, uh, on the way leaving out the hospital, I ran into the lady that had always asked me to updates on my daughter. Um, I told y'all before she said her daughter was dying. 
Well, this time, when I walked by her, I was like, hey, y'all. Because I was thinking they would come back over here. She stopped me. She said, sweetie, my daughter died. I knew right then I was going to cry for real. Because I knew I was just going to say it. But, because I was looking at my daughter, but it broke my heart. That lady was her child. <laughs> and she made sure she was over there every day to comfort her. <laughs> God. Oh, child. God. Women are some of the strongest people. The strongest beings on the earth. Women. <laughs> Ugh. But she already knew. So I hope she, she's at, at peace. I mean, who would really be at peace? But, like, a little bit better. Or that she already knew and they were preparing for it. I pray right now that you comfort her and her other daughter and the 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 child's father. Oh, Jesus Christ! I pray that it will come. Send your comforting angels, your spirit, the counselor, to surround them with love. Please, God. I'm not worried about me. Because I can always go see my child. But this lady, God, she lost one of her daughters. Ooh. I just sit in the comfort. That's all I can say. I just sit in the comfort. Thank you, God. In Yeshua's name. Oh, sorry for crying, y'all. I just had, I just had to let it out. I might call it a night. I am gonna call my please have a good night. I think my nose is starting. I think my nose is starting. Sorry, y'all. Have a good night. If you have children, please let them know you love them. Hold them. Call them whatever you get, whatever you got a chance to do. Time is short. We might think it's gonna be long and forever, but life is short and time is short. Depending on how long your lifespan is supposed to be. So when you when you got people you love, you make sure you tell them you love them. And you try to show them as much love as you possibly can. Tell everyone you can that you know you love, that you love them either. If you got to, stop a random person. They might need a I love you. Lord Jesus love you. But anyway, have a good night. Be blessed. Have a good morning if you say, yo, my ne- let me get off this camera looking like a crybaby and snot at nose. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Be blessed.